Hi guys, welcome back to Sim UK. Thanks for joining me again for another episode of Fishing Baron C. Now, I have been trying to get a video out to you guys for about two weeks now. First of all, uh, my daughter was on half term and that just meant that there was no time or quiet or anything to get anything done at all. Uh, and uh, obviously we wanted to go do family things as well, so I didn't have a lot of time at, even in the best of situations. I did make a video um, to put out yesterday uh, well, a couple of days ago now, by the time you see this, but my god, I have had so much difficulty with my recording software of late. It's corrupted the whole bloody thing, and I have spent days trying to fix this MP4 file and just had absolutely no luck at all. So, we're just going to have to carry on from here because I've run out of time. I'm on my lunch right now, I've got a pot noodle sat next to me, cup of coffee, and uh, this is the only opportunity I have to get any videos out to you on this game this week. So I'm just going to grab it and go with it. So I've got about an hour just to try and get some game in, but I'm going to be eating my pot noodle and drinking my coffee at the same time because it's also my lunch. Right, so with all that out of the way, let me explain to you what has happened. So I think in the last episode we were over here and I was just taking the Vebeki Catherine or whatever the hell it's called, the Vebeki, taking the Vebeki out and just putting it through its paces and showing you what it's all about. Now it's a cool boat. Since then, there's been an update on the uh, the buoyancy uh, physics in the game. So she's not quite as top heavy as she was before. Not quite so bouncy, which is good, I guess. Although I quite like that, actually. I quite like how out of control she seemed and how likely she was to tip over constantly. I kind of like that. It was a bit of a challenge. But anyway, we've uh, cruised across here. You can see I've made a path through the fog of war. All the way down here, we dropped a line here, picked up some cod. We did okay with that. We dropped two more lines here, which we've just picked up, and that's on board the ship at the moment. And I'll explain where we're going in just a sec. We've unlocked this port here, Forzal, and I've got to say, there's absolutely sod all there, so that was <laughs> almost completely pointless. And we have just one undiscovered location left. So that's where we're heading now. So whilst the guys are processing the fish, if I can, if I just go to the fish. No, wrong one, this one, that one, that one. Okay, we got there in the end. So the guys are processing the fish, you can see uh, we got Rudy, oh actually he's repairing the boat because he's hauled the line in, cooked some burgers up. We've got Bart and we've got Raw and uh, they're gutting and stacking the fish. So by the time we get up to uh, wherever the heck this is, we should have uh, processed all those fish and we can sell them. Now we've been line fishing because financially we're a bit shy on cash, we've got 103,000. Now by the time we get up there and we drop this stuff off, we should have enough to buy some nets for the Vibeki and then the big money is going to roll in because just net fishing in this game is hugely, hugely more profitable. That being said, there's also been an update on that. So it's now less profitable and it works in a slightly different way. So that would be interesting to see how that works. Um, so I guess the best thing I can do right now is just get the ship rolling. What lights do we have on here? Any at all? We don't need the work lights on because we're not working. Searchlight is pointless. We'll turn the interior lights on. Uh, we'll keep the running lights on. Yeah, okay. In fact, I might even turn the interior lights off. What would be nice... Well, that was the wrong button. What would be nice, guys, would be if we had the option to have sort of night lights, like you do in, um, in, a, uh, in an aircraft, like a GA aircraft. You can have, like, uh, green lights or red light, I think it is, in GA. I think that would be nice, so that you can still see what you're doing, but it's not too bright. Where the heck is my compass in this? I don't... Oh, there it is. <laughs> so, we're not heading north yet. Hang on a minute. Yeah, I've turned way too sharp there. I suppose I could look at the GPS, couldn't I? Right, so I'm just basically going to meander up there, and... Um, what I want to be doing is um, finding some cod along the way. So hopefully that'll be the case. What I wanted to do at, uh, well, what's it called, Bork? No, Forzal. What I wanted to do at Forzal was buy a radar so that I could unlock more of this fog of war. But um, unfortunately you can't buy anything at Forzal. It's absolutely empty. So uh, yeah, we're kind of just stuck as we are, pootling along. And uh, it's very calm out, very calm, very cool, very relaxed. And uh, yes, we're going to rename the boat. Now, I've had a really good suggestion about renaming the boat. Um, you might remember we had a crew member who went missing at sea. 
apparently. Now before I do rename the boat in his memory, uh, there are some suggestions that he's been seen uh, kicking around, what, what the hell, I've forgotten the name of everything, Hammerfest. Yeah, somebody said they saw him at Hammerfest. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to head down to Hammerfest and see if he's there before we rename the boat after him because that would be insulting to rename a boat after a, a, a lost seaman only to find he was in the pub that would irritate just about every bone in my body so uh, yeah that's the plan guys so I'm gonna cruise on up there and I'll, and I'll see you when we well when something interesting happens oh before I do leave you and go for a sail something else happened in the last episode that I I can't now show you because the file is completely corrupt. We have unlocked our next certificate. Uh, if I come back here. So we now have access to the Pelagic Trawler. That is the, um, 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 what's it called? The Lunar Bow, thank you. Um, pelagic Trawlers, incidentally, are fish that swim below the surface but above the ocean floor in case you don't know what that term refers to it's also considered to be the least damaging uh, fishing technique available for trawlers um, and there's some sort of uh, attempt by people to have it um, so that pelagic trawlers are the only trawlers and we'll get rid of like the Hermes which uh, drags a net along the floor um, so yeah I mean there are people who are trying to do that although I think I think they'd struggle to get that through in in law but anyway that's that's where we are so I'm gonna have a nice little nice little jaunt and uh, there's not much to see it's very black out there very very black out there very calm hardly anything going on what's the weather like Three miles per hour, one meter per second, five kilometers per hour. Thank you for pointing out that that's all that changes there. I don't know how I miss that. Sometimes when you're prattling on and talking rubbish, you do miss these important things. You can see we got half, half a hold full. Uh, what's the repair of the boat like? 99%, well that's good, we'll get you stacking then. Cushney, let's, uh, let's get on and I shall see you guys. Oh look, what is going on there? Looks like we've hit some waves. I'm not sure what's going on there, actually. Goodness me, we are bouncing around. Maybe it's because we're out in open sea. Hmm. Let me just... Uh... Now, I've heard some people saying that they've encountered this bug where the ocean goes completely black. Now, it's never affected me, so I wasn't too worried about it, but I'm starting to think that that's maybe what's going on here in this game. That is odd. Right, well, I'll see if I can get that fixed along the way, but otherwise I shall see you uh, at the new port. How interesting. Okay, guys, so just to clarify, I have fixed the, uh, the ocean, the black ocean problem. Basically, I turned some of my settings down to medium just to see how high I could get the FPS. And uh, I was running at a solid 60 FPS, but um, yeah, I put everything back up to maximum. If I just pop outside a second, you can see that the ocean is back. And uh, now, we, now we can see why, uh, why we're bouncing around, because there are some waves out. Nothing big, just minor, gentle little rollers, but uh, yeah, enough to get the... The Vebeki bouncing and rolling around like she should be, which is cool. Uh, Raw's too tight to work. Typical. Have a burger, Raw. Get your energy back. I can't wait until these guys have boosted their uh, stamina a bit. They're a bit flaky at the moment. So, uh, yeah. So that's good. I fixed that anyway. Um, and all I did was, I think the, the issue is, uh, I forget which setting it is, but if you change one of the settings to medium, you'll find that it um, uh, has that issue with the, the ocean going completely black. Whoa, look at this. We are proper rolling here and there's no waves at all. These are tiny little little rollers, but my God, it's affecting us. I can't wait until um, we've got some sort of 
splashdown effects and, and even better than that I cannot wait until we've got um, like water splash good lord has the weather just changed or something has it gone midnight it's just gone midnight and it's now 20 knots that's why that's where the waves have come from then that explains it guys that explains it yeah oh wow big whale over there so yeah it looks like we're going to be uh, well I'm going to be working hard to get us to this port now but enjoying the ride at the same time so I'll see you when we get there guys I'll see you when we get there So guys we kind of got trapped out in this weather uh, maybe I should have looked at the weather chart before heading out across the uh, ocean here it's gonna take me a long long time to get there and I'm just hoping that when we do get there there's something there like maybe we can upgrade the radar maybe we can buy some nets because otherwise I'm just gonna have to fast travel all my way back down to Hammerfest because that's the only place so far where I can really do that so I guess we'll find out in the next episode whether or not whether or not that's going to work out don't let me know if you've already been there if you've already been there don't let me know uh, well to be fair 
I was going to say because it might put me off going but to be fair I'm just going to go straight there now I'm just going to split it into two videos so in the next episode in the next episode you'll definitely get to see uh, that port being opened and hopefully hopefully some nets being purchased I just like to say that we've done all this distance and I've been a bit wibbly wobbly on purpose whoops a bit wibbly wobbly on purpose because I've been hunting for cod and so far that's the only spot throughout all of this where I found anything at all so uh, yeah we have got a 500 line to drop in but it, oof, it been Nora's these are these are scary waves scary waves yeah we've got a 500 line baited with crab just in case we do see a nice spot because um, we do have space to uh, maybe take a break and um, get a line down I don't know but anyway find out in the next episode thanks for watching guys till then bye for now